Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is Androsophila bar-shaped eyes, scalloped wings, cross veinless wings and eye color are located on the X chromosome. Their combinant frequencies of each gene is indicated in the table below. Construct a chromosome map. So let me first give you some theory. Imagine that we have two chromosomes, two homologous chromosomes which organism inherited from two parents and during meiosis each chromosome would make a copy of itself. So we call these chromosomes which copy of itself uh, sister chromatids. So this is sister chromatids in red color and sister chromatids shown here in blue color. And these two chromosomes are homologous. So sister chromatids are identical, but homologous chromosomes are not identical. This is, let's say, the same chromosome number one, or it can be uh, chromosome number two, chromosome pair, but genes may be on each chromosome slightly different versions of each other, though the order would be the same. So for example, we may have a gene A here and in the same locus on the homologous chromosome, we may have also gene A, but slightly different version, say it's going to be a recessive version. And let's say somewhere here, we may have gene B and on the homologous chromosome, we may have the same locus recessive version of this gene or we call this allele. And during meiosis, these two non-sister chromosomes would exchange the fragments through uh, crossing over and the greater distance between two genes, the more chances that uh, crossing over would happen. But now let me position another gene here. Let's say this is going to be gene T and also recessive version of this gene. And as you see, probability that crossing over would happen between gene A and B is much greater than between gene A and D. So this is a theory how we can map genes based on the uh, frequencies of crossing over which happens between them. Let's now analyze what we see in this table. And by the way, the crossing over maximum frequency cannot exceed 50%. Take a look. Uh, this gene may stay here during crossing over or may move uh, to this chromosome in this position. So we would have a recessive allele A and dominant allele B here. So this would be new combination and we also may have dominant allele A here and recessive allele B here. And uh, the closer two genes to each other, the least uh, frequent such event would be. And if genes would be just next to each other, they would tend to be uh, relocated to new position on the other chromosome together. Now let's take a look at this table. First step would be to find two genes that uh, has highest frequency of the crossing over between them. That means that those genes would be far apart. So this is going to be our first step. And let's say this is gene C and S. So let's put gene S here and gene C here. And we have 11% uh, frequency of the crossing over between them. So this equal to 11 centimorgans. This is relative measurements. And uh, if gene say C and S would be on the different chromosome, the distance between them would be different if we will measure them in, uh, for example, in nucleotide. So this is not exact number, but just relative number. Now, Let's take a look 
and find the second pair of genes with the highest frequency uh, of the crossing over between them and this is genes W and S. So we can position this W gene say somewhere here or we can position it somewhere here. So two possible variants, which one to choose. Let's now analyze uh, other genes here. For example, do we have any information about uh, frequency of the crossing over between gene C and W or gene C and this W? And WC we see here, it is 3%. And if this would be the right position of the gene W, uh, so we should add to eight centimorgans between these genes. So frequency of the crossing over between gene C and W would be 19%. Uh, but we see that it is uh, just 3%. So the correct position of the gene W would be here. And we have three centimorgans uh, between gene C and W and we have eight centimorgans between genes W and S. So we can cross out this variant, the gene W uh, locate right to the gene S. It is left to the gene S. So now we can cross out those positions which we already defined and WC. Now let's think about, uh, for example, this variant BS. So we don't have gene B, but we have gene S. Again, we can put gene B whether to the right of the S or to the left to the S. So let's put gene B, let's say somewhere here, gene B. So let me use again blue color. And in this case, we would have 5.5 centimorgans between gene S and B. But again, we also can put this gene somewhere here, gene B, and we also going to have 5.5 centimorgans between gene S and B. Now let's analyze another pair, B and C. So B and C, which is 5.5. Um, if gene B would be here, it's going to be, as you see, much more than 5.5. Uh, so the only possible position of the gene B, again, is going to be here on the left of the gene S. And let me use different color. So uh, between gene C and B, we would find that uh, we also would have 5.5 centimorgans, just according to uh, what we see here. So again, S and B 5.5, B and C 5.5, and together 5.5 plus 5.5 give us information that between gene C and S 11 centimorgans. So far so good. So we can cross out this um, two pairs also. And now let's find uh, where, uh, where the, uh, this frequency 2.5 is correct for the uh, pair of genes W uh, and B. So gene W and B here and we have flanking uh, fragments here, which is three uh, centimorgans and between 
B and S, we have 5.5 centimorgans. Together it is 8.5. 11 minus um, these two fragments would give us 2.5 uh, centimorgans between gene W and B, 2.5 centimorgans. So, as you see, this is going to be the correct version of the gene order in this chromosome. So we just go from the uh, genes that is lay far apart and just giving alternative posi positions. Sometimes it can be left uh, to one known gene or to the right to the known gene. We compare with other gene pairs and this is how we build gene order. So again, the gene order is going to be gene C, then gene W, then B, and then S. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.